Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss what is a regular n simplex and what is a fine n simplex. Before I'm going to give you definition of what is a regular n simplex, let's discuss what is the geometric meaning of n simplex. So if we want to understand what is an n simplex, let's first try to figure out what is a zero simplex, one simplex, two and three simplex. So for zero simplex, it's really easy, it's just a dot. For one simplex, it's not a dot. You take your dot and you make a line segment with length one. For two simplex, as you can guess, we can either go to make a square, for example, but square is some sense it's too complicated why we have like four points, four dots, but let's make a triangle with all sides equal to one. So this is our two simplex. And for three simplex, you can think about generalization of triangle in 3D. Is it going to be a pyramid? A pyramid. And it's not only like the surface of pyramid. It's going to be the surface of pyramid and everything inside. Yeah. So we can think about n simplex as generalization of n-dimensional like triangle or pyramid. So it's basically the our simplexes are, are just geometric objects in this form. But if you want to work with these objects, we need to define them concretely. We, we need to define them by using algebra terms. So let me give you the definition of a regular and simplex. So we're saying that Qn is a regular and simplex. If uh, it's a set of points in Rn, such that xi and xn belongs to Rn, and what we know for these points, for these points, we know that uh, we have the following inequality, that x1 plus dot 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 xn less or equal than 1. And each of our, our xi is bigger or equal than 0. And this is definition of regular and simplex. So let's see how this definition works with our, defini uh, with our geometric intuition. So let's find, by using this definition, uh, what is our two simplex. So what we're going to do, we're going to just write what is our Q2. Q2 is equals to, and we, have in, and we have inequality x1 plus x2 less or equal than 1. And we know that x1 bigger or equal than 0, and x2 bigger or equal than 0. So here we have Q2 as a subset of R2. So let's find, let's draw Cartesian coordinates. And here we can see we have two directions, like x1 and x2. And we want to find subset of Q2 such that uh, it's going to satisfy these conditions. So what do we have first one? First one we have inequality. x1 plus x2 less or equals than 1. And how we want to find what point satisfies this inequality? Uh, our flex, let's say step A is just to find the equation x1 plus x2 equals to 1. But this equation is just the line where x2 equals 1 minus x1. And you can see when x1 equals to 1 you have x2 is 0, so you have your first point. And when x1 equals to 0, your x2 is 1, so this is the second point. And what we know, we know that through this point goes this line. And we interested in all points which is going to be less or equal than 1. So it means I'm interested in this subset of R2. But what else do we know? Uh, and also since this I have equation, uh, boundary also works. And what else do I know? The other thing that I know is that x1 bigger or equal than 0 and x2 bigger or equal than 0. So it means I have everything to the right hand side of x2 and I have everything above x1. And you can see that uh, the point that satisfies the first assumption and the second assumptions are going to be exactly this triangle. And you can see, yes, indeed, this triangle is actually my Q2. 
is actually my two simplex. The only difference is this side is one and this side is one, but this side is square root of two. But I can actually, oh, okay. So uh, I see what is going on. If I want to get, okay, give me a second. So if I want to get exactly the simplex when all sides of my triangle is going to be one, 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 I need to define what is a fine and simple. So uh, let's define and let's get the geometric intuition of. So before we have only, for example, let's show an example based on two simplex. Before we have that n simplex uh, q2 has a falling form. But let's say we're given some uh, triangle in R2 that has the following form. So how I can get this triangle from the first one? And I'm saying that again this triangle by some map T when T is an affine map. So in some sense what I'm doing, I'm taking this point and mapping to this point. I'm taking this point, mapping to this point, and I'm taking this point and mapping to this point. So affine and simplex is the image of regular and simplex under the a an affine map. Okay, in next video what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue discussing affine and simplex. I'm going to give you a precise definition and I'm going to show how we can uh, use an affine and simplex to get the image of the square. Thank you for watching.